Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Deathbot from 32 Academy. Okay, let's read the question together. So the question asks you to find the number of three digit integers which are multiples of three and are formed by digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 without repetition. So the integer are three digit, okay, and this three digit is a multiples of three. And how you form this numbers or how you form this integers is you can only use digits 0, 1, 2, 3 all the way until 7 without repetition. So the question asks how many such integers are there? Okay, so let's try to do this combinatoric question together. Okay, so first things first let the number be A, B, C. Okay, this is the decimal representation. If you want the integer to be a multiple, so 3, that means that the sum of the digits is a multiple of 3. So A plus B plus C is a multiple of 3. So A plus B plus C is a multiple of 3. A multiple of 3. So Okay, first thing first, this number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If I divide it by 3, the possible remainder is 0, 1, 2, the remainder 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, respectively. Okay, so if you want a plus b plus c to be a multiple of 3, case 1 would be a, b, c. All of them has the same remainder. So what I mean by this is let's say A has remainder 0, B also has remainder 0, and C has remainder 0. Add up together is a multiple of 3. Or A has remainder 1, B has remainder 1, and C has remainder 1. Add up together is divisible by 3. A is remainder 2, B remainder 2, and C remainder 2. Add up together also still divisible by 3. So how many such cases are there? I would say that there are first thing first you need because there is no repetition. Okay. So to get a digit oh, sorry, to get a remainder zero, you can only have zero, three, and six. Okay, these are the remainder zero. Remainder one is the one, four, and seven. Notice you cannot have A B C all remainder two. Because you only have number 2, 5, and uh, well, you do not have an 8. Okay, so let's try this together. So, for the case of 0, 3, 6, all right, how many cases do you have? You cannot start with a 0, right? Because it's a three digit number, you cannot start with 0. So, you can start with either 3 or 6, so that's two choices. After that, you still have two choices. You do not repeat, but now you can use zero. And of course, the last digit is one choice, so it's a four. For this case, well, no restriction. It's just three times two times one, so it's a six. Total is a ten for case one. For case two, it is when A, B, C have different remainder. Okay, so what I mean by this is, let's say A remainder 0, B remainder 1, C remainder 2, add up together still, divisible by 3. So it can be 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 0, and then 2, 0, 1. Okay, so I would break into the mini cases here because now there is a restriction of you cannot start with a 0. So if you do not, if the number does not include 0. Okay, it doesn't include 0. So how many choices would we have? I would say uh, we would have 2 because you do not start at 0, right? So the, the remainder 0 can only be 3 and 6. The remainder 1 can be 3 choices because you can have 1, 4, 7 
and the remainder two you also have two choices is two and five okay but because you can rearrange this right let's say three one two I can also put it one two three correct and so you can have another multiplied by three factorial okay you can rearrange this then that would give you a 72 cases for the case of if you include zero if you include zero how many cases are there if you include zero the first i would say is three times two times two times two so this three is basically the three digit okay sorry is the remainder one and that means that the one four seven this is the remainder two okay so that is the two and five this is the remainder zero and i use zero all right so that would be a this is because i can switch between b and c okay so this is the switching between b and c and i use a zero okay and then this two i can write as two factorial this is to switch between the digit not zero the non-zero digit and the starting a so a and the non-zero digit okay non-zero digit between b and c okay so because i need to use the digit zero anyway because we say here is include zero so that means i well technically i can just multiply by one same thing okay so let me repeat this is the remainder one okay this is the remainder two the remainder zero or oh, you only have one choices because you need to use digit one digit zero this is to switch like two factorial okay it's to different arrangement and this is where the digit zero can be the two okay it just need to avoid starting at a it can be at b or c so here you multiply together you will get uh 24 right and then you start add together initially you have 10 72 that's 82 82 mod, uh, plus 24 all together you get so hands in total 10 72 24 together you get 106 so the answer is 106 we have completed this lesson thank you for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed today's lesson goodbye and see you again in another lesson if you would like to learn more from these tutorials please smash that like and subscribe button